Hey everyone, Corey Whalen, Managing Partner, Bridgemark Strategies. When I'm working with a client that's considering moving from an employee channel and breaking away to the independent channel, one of the first questions they always ask is, Corey, what type of asset or client revenue retention can I expect to see? And I've helped over a thousand financial advisors move from one firm to another in my career. And almost 100% of the time, the move winds up leading to significant growth in the next year or so after that. And I know that sounds like something that a recruiter would say, but it really is true. And I just wanted to show you a perfect example of it. A year ago, I was working with a million dollar producing advisor at an employee firm. And in short, he got terminated for something that was just totally unfair and out of his hands. It left him scared, scrambling for his clients, and totally unprepared for a transition. And we've been in touch regularly over that time. Some of his days have been really good, and some of his days have been really bad for sure. But I called him at his one-year mark just to give him a congratulations and just to check in to see what his final retention numbers were. And this is what he told me in a text, word for word. He said, Corey, I built out a scorecard for you and your entertainment. These are just my households, which I got two third of at my 12 month mark. My assets were 80 million of 100 million. So the assets were, when, were within 75% of the average that me and you talked about. But what I didn't expect that makes the number even sweeter is the amount of work for those assets going down because I know, because I no longer service one third of those households giving up 20% of those assets in exchange for 65% of the work I used to do gives me more capacity. And I think that's one of the really big things that financial advisors miss. They're so con concerned about bringing over all of their assets. They don't think about the long-term gr growth opportunities of potentially leaving a few clients behind. When you make a move from one firm to another, you're bringing with you all the people that are truly loyal to you see the value in what you're doing and are raving fans. And when you have more time to service them and make them happy and generate referrals and market with that additional capacity that you have, almost every single time I see significantly higher long-term growth when I check in one, two, three years down the road. So I hear all the time, Corey, if I knew I was gonna bring all my clients with me I'd leave tomorrow, but I think that's the wrong way to think about it. A little attrition leaves you with only the clients that find true value in what you're doing and more time to do the things that you really, really want to do. As I mentioned, I've seen this time and time again. I'm glad to talk to you about other stories or show you the numbers, even with a certain amount of attrition, how it still potentially makes sense to make a move to another firm. I'm always available and my contact information is all over my YouTube channel, my podcast, my website. I really hope we could talk soon. Thank you.